Let's go over an exercise called grounding. All you need is a pillow and then something sturdy where you can put your foot on and then the other leg above. And I'll show you here just in a second. Now grounding refers to the body's ability to sense ground reaction force. So when I'm standing on my right leg, there's pressure coming up through my foot, my knee, my hip, my rib cage, all the way up to my shoulder and neck. And as, as I walk and I reciprocate from right to left, my body and my brain needs to feel compression and stability on the right and then compression stability on the left. It needs to be able to escape from one hemisphere to the other properly. So let's get started. I'm gonna lie on my right side and I have good neck support and then my bottom leg is down. Now from here, we're gonna do three simple things. First, I'm gonna take my pelvis and I'm gonna roll it forward. So I'm rolling it towards the right. It's oriented towards the right. The second thing I'm gonna do is my top leg is gonna reach. It's gonna reach for that door or for the far wall or wherever your orientation is. It's just gonna reach forward. And then the third thing I'm gonna do is pull my rib cage back here so that I can breathe through the back of my rib cage called the posterior mediastinum. You wanna picture it right between the scapula. And I'm not just gonna breathe through my nose. The entire time I'm doing this, I'm sensing three things. My foot, so this bottom foot here, my abdominal on the same side, and then my top glute. So again, I'm gonna do three things. I'm gonna roll my pelvis forward, I'm going to reach my leg, and I'm gonna draw my rib cage back like so. I'm gonna hold this position, and I'm just gonna work on sensing what's happening. I've got my three things I need to take inventory of. I've got my foot, it feels strong on this, on this pillow here. Then I've got my abdominal here contracting naturally, and I've got my top glute. Once I've got all those three things locked in, I'm just gonna breathe through my nose. You can put your arm out here, up here. I like it just like this. Again, I'm really focused on pulling the ribs back. As I'm breathing, I'm sensing my foot my abdominal, and my glute, my top glute. Most people will feel the challenge of getting their pelvis to stay rolled forward while pulling their rib cage back. You wanna make sure that happens. This is mimicking right stance phase as if I was going to walk and take that step on the right and push off to the left, I'm orienting, I'm orienting my body to the right during this right stance phase. You can also play with the angle. It doesn't have to be this deep of a knee. You can keep it a little straighter and just again, put pressure here, reaching forward with that top leg and I can feel my abdominal contract, pulling the ribs back. <sighs> 